So I kind of soft launched this platform at tallpad.com. It's just a place where I post all my videos, it makes it easier to organize them, add code snippets, track progress and so on. It's a very basic platform, something I put together with Laravel Nova over a few days. The plan is to iterate over it, see what's wrong, what's missing, and make it better and better over time. One of the first things I need to deal with is fake registrations. I have almost 100 registered users over the past few days. And as much as I'd love that to be true, it's just a case of bots filling and submitting my registration form. Of course, there are many ways to tackle this problem, but the fastest and easiest one I know is to use a honeypot. A honeypot is a simple technique where you add a hidden field to your form that should always stay empty. You then check for that value, and if it's not empty, you're dealing with a bot registration. Since this is a Laravel application, you can correctly assume that Spatty already has a package to deal with honeypot fields. So let's search for Laravel Spatty Honeypot. And here it is. Scroll down. Here's how we can use it. So we need to add this component to our form. But first we actually need to install the package. So we'll do this. You can publish the config file, but this is optional, so I want to do it. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's add this honeypot field to our register form. Here is our form. We can add it just after the CSRF token. And the last thing we need to do is to add the middleware to our post route of, from the register. So we grab this, go to routes, web, and then we have auth. Here is the get route and here is the post. We need to add it right here. And of course, import the class. And we're done. The easiest way to test it is to go to the registration form inspect and search for the honeypot field and here it is so as you can see the value is empty and if we fill it with some gibberish as a bot will do and try to register What we get back is an empty page with a 200 response code. The reason for that is we don't want to tip the bot off that we have ignored its request. So the final step is to check that the user wasn't created. So I'll open PHP Artisan, Tinker, and check for a user where email equals with this email. And of course the bot request was ignored. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can easily protect against bots. It's not on 100% foolproof, but it's better than nothing. Check out the platform at tallpad.com. I have a few new videos there and I hope you like it. Bye.